Now, in the same way that some Roblox tutorials drag on forever, the purpose of a drag detector, when put on a part, is you're able to drag it. I mean, look at this. This, this is cool. So right now I'm in a completely blank project file. So the very first thing you should do is just, you know, make a part, you know, just kind of move it somewhere here. And now inside the part, so you click the plus button and then you click drag detector. So now first I'll go over like some of the important properties of a drag detector. And then I'll explain like what you can do in terms of scripting uh, the drag detector. So archivable is um, on by default, uh, like if you want it to save every time the game shuts down. So usually you want this to be on max activation distance, very simple, like how far away uh, can the player be to actually activate, you know, the drag detector, the name, the parent. Uh, this is the reference instance. You don't have to worry about this. This is like main, mainly for testing purposes. Uh, behavior is drag style. So again, you can experiment with all of these. These are kind of like the same, honestly. Like we have scriptable, which, you know, lets you change it. Best for device, which means that it's going to be different on mobile um, than uh, like on PC, for example. Translate plane is the best one. It la like actually translates based on the physical like objects around it. So I would just always use this. Uh, enabled means, you know, is it enabled? Can you drag it? Uh, response style physical. There's also custom and geometric. I always use physical. Run locally simple. So like if, if this is false, then when you drag the part, it actually drags. So everyone in the server sees you dragging the part. If this is checked true, if it's local, well then only you will see the part dragging. To everyone else, the part will still be in one position. Now drag directions, drag limits, and drag the mount. All of these are for actually changing like the movements uh, of the part. So you know how fast it is, uh, whether it has like any friction or anything like that. So again, you know, experiment with these, play around, see what you can find. Um, image, this is like how the cursors looks. This is mode switching. So mode switching is like, does the part look towards the cursor or does it always stay flat? So these are the buttons that control that. And then these are the physics and that's everything. So let's actually open up the drag detector and insert a script. So in the script, I'll do a local drag detector, <laughs> detector equals script dot parent. So this drag detector variable is the script's parent being the drag detector. So now drag detectors have, I believe, seven main events. Now I'll only cover three of them because four of them actually, uh, I covered in a previous video about click detectors. So, you know, make sure to go check those out. Um, but, but I, I will talk about the four ones and it's the, uh, drag detector dot mouse click. So, you know, it, when the mouse clicks on the part, uh, it fires an event. So mouse click connect uh, function and it gives you the player who clicked, right? So when, so whenever like you click on the part that has the drag detector inside, we could just print like clicked, for example, right? Like, like what I did in my video was I made the character just like explode. <laughs> but um, yeah, like if I, if I just find the part and I click it, yeah, here it says clicked. So I'm clicking, 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 clicking. Awesome. So that works. But again, like we're not using drag detectors just to click, right? I mean, that's kind of stupid, you know, uh, besides mouse clicking, they also have mouse hover. So, you know, when you hover your mouse, so this fires when it enters, this fires when it leaves. And then there's also a right mouse click. So the, the typical mouse click is only for the left uh, mouse. Right mouse click is only for the right mouse. But again, I go more in depth about these in my click detector video. So, you know, watch that. Of course, I want views. But then the three main events that are only for drag detectors are... First one is drag start, drag start. So I'll connect that to a function. Again, it gives us the player who dragged as well as it gives us the, uh, the ray. So from the mouse, like it makes a, um, a ray cast from the mouse. So it tells us where the mouse is currently positioned. Uh, it gives us the view frame or the C frame of what it hit, hit frame, uh, the clicked part. So the part that we clicked VR input frame. So this is like for virtual reality. And is the mode switch key down? So mode switch is the, um, it, it's like, it's like these buttons here, right? So there's a lot of stuff that, uh, these events give you, but like for now, like I'll just worry about the player. So I'll just do player. And again, you can name this, whatever you want. This will be player. So this is like a variable. I just always like to name it player because it's more simple, you know? So we have drag start, 
then we have drag the texture drag continue which like i'm sure you're understanding what all of these kind of do right and then drag the texture dot drag end connect function and then the player so again for testing purposes let's do print drag began i'll just i'll just copy this drag continued and drag ended very simple <coughs> and let's let, let's see if it works so again look at drag began drag continued okay oh look wow that's like 200 and drag ended continued began ended began ended began ended and now it's continuing wonderful that is amazing so let's actually have a bit of fun with this so you basically already know everything there is to uh you know drag detectors but if you just want to you know expand your knowledge a bit more make a little little fun stupid game how about this when the drag uh detector starts we'll change the um let, let's change the part all right so let's do a local part equals script dot parent dot parent so script dot parent dot parent being the part right um you know let's change the part dot i don't know what does the part have transparency let's change the transparency to like 0 0.5 which will make it half um invisible when the drag ends let's make the transparency back to zero and zero being like it's fully visible so here it's half visible here it's fully uh visible as the drag continues you know what i have a funny idea what if we just slightly increase the size very slightly so let's do a plus equals oh and plus equals means like part dot size equals part dot size so it's size right now plus something else so we'll do a vector three dot new and by the way vector three is just like it's three numbers right so uh the size of the part is determined by three numbers and x y and z and what, what a vector three is it's just three numbers right so we're saying okay so this is going to be the x this is going to be the y and this is going to be the z so let's slightly increase it by like 0 0.01 for every single one because of course like as you drag like you know there's a lot of drag events firing so let's very slightly increase it um and then i guess when the drag is over i guess we could set the part size back to its default size being um vector 3.new 4 1 and 2 4 1 and 2 so that's its size right now so i understand if you know that this code maybe doesn't make too much sense but what we should get is this oh that's amazing so at, yeah so it's half invisible and so as we're dragging it it is ever so slightly increasing in size oh that is amazing oh okay well <laughs> the one thing you should note about drag detectors is that when you actually click on the part it it sends the part to wherever the mouse is clicking so again okay if i let go does it work let's see so the part is increasing in size and if i let go it's back to normal okay awesome so for example if i lift my mouse up you see it goes all the way there and now it goes all the way here and now it goes all the way there meow just like that and you can kind of see it in the distance no you can't okay it's gone <laughs> but yeah this was the part um you know i have a discord server uh in the comments so listen i'm trying to grow it okay i'm trying to make a community for you know roblox developers which doesn't suck because all of them are kind of bad um because all of them drag on for too long you see what i did there it's a little um yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'm deleting the part. No more drag detectors. No more scripts. We're back to basics. Thanks for watching.